She's the meanest girl in school. She thinks she's so popular, but newsflash, no one cares. She was mocking my friend Brianna. I walked up to her and I threw my tray on her. She was covered in all of my food. She got really mad and attacked me. She pushed me to the ground and she started choking me. I could barely breathe, but I was just enjoying myself because of how this girl was able to squeeze me so tight. Brianna was trying to push her away, but suddenly, without thinking, I blurted out, Choke me harder! Everyone heard what I said loud and clear. Hello everyone, my name's Natalie and I'm 17 years old. There's something heavy that's been on my mind lately and I really wanted to let you guys know. But before that, leave me a like and smash that subscribe button so you'll never miss an upload from this channel. Do you guys ever experience pain? Do you just hate it? Well, I don't. And that's because I'm the opposite of that. I'm a masochist and us masochists love pain. Like, a lot of pain. Although there's no need for you to judge me because I've got a good reason to back that up. It all started on one beautiful day when I was alone in my room. I was just reading a book and suddenly my older sister Nancy barged in. She started yelling at me. I thought I told you to stop wearing my clothes. I just shrugged it off and said, why don't you find some different clothes and stop being a baby? She got really angry at my words, so she walked up to me and slapped my face. She then walked out of my room and slammed the door. God, that hurt like hell. But I wasn't crying or anything. I just felt a tingling sensation on my face. I didn't understand what had happened to me, so I decided to give it a test drive. I planned on making my sister angry again to test my theory. So I went to her room without her permission. As soon as she saw me, she screamed, what are you doing in my room? Get out! I didn't reply. I just grabbed her homework that she was working on and ripped it to shreds. She was horrified at what I did. She then slapped my face twice in a row. I was smiling at her. She looked confused and then she said, what is up with you? Doesn't that hurt you? I quickly replied, surprisingly, no, it doesn't. Then I walked out of her room. I didn't understand this love of pain, so I decided to search it up on Google, and then I found it. It's called a masochist. Is that what I am? I thought to myself. But it continued to happen. I was making myself some hot chocolate in the microwave. When it was done, I grabbed it. The cup was hot, but instead of screaming, I just giggled and enjoyed the burning sensation on my skin. My mom showed up and said, Sweetie, please use a mitten, it's still hot. I didn't care. I loved feeling the burn. <laughs> Later, I accidentally broke a vase that belonged to my grandma. My dad rushed in, and when he saw the broken vase, he was furious. He told me to face the wall. He grabbed his belt and whipped my behind. He hit me really hard. But fortunately for me, it felt so good. It even low-key turned me on. Okay, but what did you expect? I'm a masochist. But I kept it a secret from my family because they wouldn't understand. But I did tell my best friend Brianna about my secret. She didn't believe me at first though, so I told her to step on my feet to confirm it. When she did, I kind of moaned, although it wasn't too loud because I didn't want anyone to hear me. She was surprised and wondered how it was possible. Hmm? Then, there is this one time in a cafeteria, there's this girl named Susie. She's the meanest girl in school. She thinks she's so popular, but newsflash, no one cares. She was mocking my friend Brianna. I walked up to her and I threw my tray on her. She was covered in all of my food. She got really mad and attacked me. She pushed me to the ground and she started choking me. I could barely breathe, but I was just enjoying myself because of how this girl was able to squeeze me so tight. Brianna was trying to push her away, but suddenly, without thinking, I blurted out, Choke me harder! Everyone heard what I said loud and clear. Then Susie let go of my throat and stood up. You're insane, she said. Then she walked off. Later, the principal called me and Susie to his office because one of the teachers told him about the fight and what everyone had heard me say. He called my parents over to discuss what had happened and even showed them what I just said. My parents looked shocked. Then the principal cleared his throat and asked me why I said all that stuff. So I decided to tell them the truth. 
So I told my parents that I'm a masochist and what I've been doing to get a thrill from feeling pain. I thought they were going to get mad, but they understood. They even told me that when my grandma was my age, she was a masochist too. So that's where I got it from. So they accepted me for who I was. What would you have done if you were in my shoes? Let me know in the comment section. I'll be excited to hear your opinion and what you thought about the video. Also, don't forget to share the video, like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss an upload from us. See you in the next one! What are you waiting for? The video's over! Come on, go watch another video on the channel. Go! The video is over!